Hello, my companions. I hope you guys are ready to go on another adventure with me today in Gladius. Uh, I'm going to try and get through as much stuff as I can in like 30 minutes because I know last time it was just a lot of cutscenes and there wasn't a lot for me to try and interact with. So today I'm, I'm putting on the timer 30 minutes, uh, maybe a little bit more if I'm in the middle of a battle and it's not done yet when the timer goes off. Le, uh, temporary second method, permanent. Okay. So top number is how much I pay them to stay with me permanently. Bottom number, if I just want them for like one fight for something specific. Um, I honestly, I like the supports. I remember, um, that the range so they're they're a little better in my opinion but i also like the wolves because wolves are my favorite animals <clears throat> excuse me all right now let's go do this league uh let's see so atonement one i'm gonna try and get through all these atonements real quickly guys uh, let's see here. So, I only have three slots for four of my warriors. So, let's put Erlen. Let's go ahead and grab Ursula because she's the hero, so she always has to be in the fight. And then I'll put in the support because range, like I said, I think is pretty good in this game. Oh, and now you give me the choice of where I want to put people? Okay, cool. So, you're going to let me put stuff down now? All right, Erlen, let's go there. Uh, Ursula's going to go there. And then uh, you're going to go down here because I want you to shoot from the sides and stuff like that. All right, so let's see what we got here. Yeah, apparently there's King of the Hill. King of the Hill battles in this game are kind of rough. Why is it dark? Why is it so... Uh, I, I can barely see anything on the screen. I don't know how you guys can see anything, but I think I'm going to try and like walk outside of town during night battles if I remember to do that. Uh, all right. They have their arrows going pretty far. I think I'll have my arrow go like right there. Because he can only move two spaces for his turn. Uh, yeah, let's empower herself. Do I have to have the thing on her? I don't know. Probably. I'll leave it here. It's time to battle! I pushed the wrong button. Sorry guys. Alright, so long throw, no one's in range, so let's just go ahead and move up. I, th mm, I need to remember to move people farther than what they can actually move, so that way during other people's turns they can move where they need to go. Because I probably could have had the support keep moving up to where she could get into a better position before the enemy can like reposition themselves to like counterattack her. Because Ursula, I'm gonna move there. And sh it's gonna take her like someone else's turns to get over there. Let's see from where I'm looking. One, two, it's like four turns before she can attack anybody. But you know what? I think Erlen's got this. There's two lights attacking him, and they're not. I've got you covered, friend. This game kind of has a very steady rock, paper, scissors dynamic to it. So mediums beat lights, lights beat heavy, and then heavy beat mediums because their thought process is oh you're quick and agile you can you can move out of the way and miss they can miss you a lot like that's how they win that rock paper scissors but if they do get hit like they go down so 
So, I probably should have read that. I mean, I left it up on the screen long enough to read it. You guys probably thought I read it, but I was assuming it was the button mashing one, because I remember there was a button mashing one. I've got you covered, um, friend. Hopefully I remember that for next time. Um, their initiative order, because their lights are covered, higher than mine. I don't know why his initiative is better than mine. Oh, I think... Oh, it's because it does it in turns. It doesn't do their initiative, my initiative. It's it's their turn with their initiative orders, then it's my turn with my initiative orders. That's how it works out. Well then. And I'll just move her up to poke him. Because... Unless he gets, like, really lucky with some crits, he's not going to get me. He might get one of my people, but he can't get all three, especially if they're surrounded. Because this game also has a facing system, so if you're facing... Like, so he's facing Ursula. He is not going to be able to dodge the other attacks because he's focusing on Ursula. Meaning the people on his sides get um, higher chances to hit him. If I was, if I moved Erlen to the back side, he'd actually be able to do more damage because he'd be backstabbing him like a rogue in D and I'm sorry, this isn't a D and D channel. This is a Let's Play channel, so I'll I'll rein in the rein in the D and D there. Let's see, oh. My little stab didn't actually kill him. Well, there we go. What do you got for me, Ursula? I hit this button way too soon. Victory! So, that's that one. Let's try and grind through two and three real quickly. All right. All right, so atonement two, let's go. All right, we're gonna bring uh, our awesome trio. We're gonna bring her off to here to try and start just peppering them as they come there this way. And we'll put Ursula and Erlen on our sides. And Ursula is gonna be uh, off to the side here a little bit. She'll be the flanker this time. Uh, no, the swing meters are not too hard for me. I just have to get used to them. And yeah, I, the, daytime is so much better. So much better than the night battle. I shall do my best. So they will go first. Uh, they're just coming straight for me. Let's see here. Uh, Erlen, let's move you up here to try and get the high ground before they do. I don't know if you are going to get it. Ursula, it be on the higher, higher part. I know I said I wanted them to flank for each other, but it's fine. Where's this bitch going to go? It, let's have her go over here. Because if... Erlen and Ursula are in front of her. She can't actually throw, like, throw her spear and try and hit them. All right. I don't necessarily like the fact that they both have the high ground, but I'm gonna have to. Like, I there's nothing else I can do. That was a pretty good hit. That was a really good hit. She must be a light. I'm going to step up here just to give myself a little more space, but, oh, fuck. 
two. Two damage. That's not a lot of damage. I don't, why are you going over here? Uh, I might... Uh. Let's see, can I long throw anybody? Nope. Can I exploding javelin anybody? No, I cannot. Um, so let's just move up three. Oh, it must be because of the crowd favor. So we'll go here and just kind of wait. Um, or no, I guess I didn't have the crowd favor to move extra. I guess she just moves three. But yep, let's kill this bitch. One swing. Come on, Erlen. Whew, thank God. Or thank whoever the affinity gods are in this game. Uh, let's see here. Oh, we're gonna empower ourselves. Get some of that defense and stuff up. Uh, yep, let's throw it here because I don't want to hit my guy. Uh, oh. Five. I mean, AoE, it's better than nothing. But still, it, that wasn't what I really wanted. But then again, we're also still really low level. So, like, five is probably pretty average. I'll move up. I would prefer to have the high ground than let somebody else have the high ground. Since apparently he can like hit me from a fucking angle. Meanwhile, everyone else has to like be a cardinal fucking direction. I wonder if he actually like did a throwing attack. Like a long throw. It's just called a short throw. Or spear attack. All right, let's uh, let's kill this guy. Y B A X A A A Y. So I I used to play this originally on the Xbox. Um, so I have to say these kind of out loud, or at least look down at my controller, or bring my controller up so that way I can do it all. When it comes to the button matchings. And I should have only moved to attack oh. her. I'll show you what I can do. Let's see. 16. Good damage. Pretty good damage. Should be dead. Next turn. And damn it. Oh, she's too far. Well, I'll hit this bitch then. Let's see. A Y B B X X. I can never. Well, I guess they just showed me that one. Was a hit. When it's like right on the line between red and yellow, I can never tell if like I actually get it or not. Unless it's like smack dab perfectly like that one. Alright, another long throw. Uh, YYX, YAB. Like that. That one I couldn't tell. Well, until they show me again. Alright, she's gonna move. I can do better than that. Alright, I'm gonna move up. You're right? No, because then I'll block. Attack, but I do get advantage. Uh, no, nah, I'll stay down here. The the little bit that I would have gotten being up there, I don't think outweighs the potential that I can get from long throw, which won't hit. But um, I'll just move up over here because I'm gonna have to. She's got two people to go through. 
There we go. So we pretty much have this one, I think. Oh yeah, here we go. And poker in the butt. Yeah, there's the win. There's the V. I would say the W, but they don't call me the winner. They call me the victor. So let's see what we got. 245, all right. Decent XP for people. Uh, oh, I can inspect my battles. Okay, well, let's go to Atonement 3 here. Oh, here we go. So we got light, light, medium. I should probably go uh, Ursula since she's medium, and I, I'm really debating on who else to bring. You know what? I will bring. Um, let's see. Damage wise, power wise. Uh, I don't know why it took so long to debate. She has AoE, so she is the better choice. So we'll make these two come here. Do I need to beat every battle? No. Only if you want experience and gold. Because I don't feel like they give you as much gold. If I remember right, they don't give you enough gold afterwards. If you beat the same battle twice in a league. And to be honest, like, the way they do some of the points for the leagues, like, if I had just done one and three, I would have been done with this league. Um,. But Survive this. if I did one, two, I would still have to do three. Or I could do two and three. Like, I at least had to do two battles in this league. Uh, and then the third one being, like, a third battle being optional. Except the fact that the second battle gives you a lot of gold. Or... I shouldn't say a lot of gold. We we clearly saw there was a higher potential for higher gold in that one compared to uh, this one. Even though I have more, f like the odds are slightly stacked against me in this fight. Uh, oh shit. Let's move here so that way Ursula has a better chance to hit. Uh, hmm. Decisions, decisions. I don't know where I want to go. Because she's the support, so she's supposed to be out of combat. And I really want to use her, like, AoE to hit as many people as possible. But she, I think she's going to... Oh, cool. Cool. But they, they do definitely seem as though they are, like, um... Uh, ganging up on her. Uh, let's block her path. 11 damage, alright. Uh, I can long throw a few of them. I can't really... Exploding Javelin without hitting... Yeah. I'll either hit Ursula or myself with this javelin then. I don't really want to do that. Especially if it's only going to be for like 5 points of damage for them. So I'm just going to keep walking away I think here. Or let's try to get high ground. High ground would be best. It's, uh, yeah. I am definitely in the mindset that if you have the high ground you will deal more damage, thus you are most likely to win. Oh. Uh. Yeah, yeah. 
I think we're going to have to explode in Javelin with Ursula in it because she is now surrounded by everyone. Actually, cool. It's her move before everyone else. Or before Gina's. So I'll move her so she's not in the arrow with the Javelin. Why do I keep calling it an arrow? So that one bit should go down. Um... Alright, here we go. BDX, YYX, XBX. <laughs> Woo! That's pretty good. And I've almost maxed out the crowd favor. It's moving over to me. Only I've two. Got you covered, friend. Nothing oh. rivals a barbarian strength. That was a pretty decent hit. I'm in the red now. Is she within long distance? Fuck. But if I move over, she'll be in there for next time. I should probably empower herself so that way I can increase my dodge. Defense, accuracy, damage. Alright. Now a long throw. For a pretty decent amount because she's focusing elsewhere. Why why be a fight till the end. Oh shit, that was good. Ah. Now that third one when it says team initiative, that is really important when there's multiple teams fighting. Um But it'll be okay. Oh, well. Yeah. Let's, uh... I'm just gonna pass. So let's throw this. Oh, God. Uh, B -Y -Y -B -B -X -Y -B. Hey, shit! Thank God my brain knew what I wanted. Alright. Well... Let's see. Oh god, I I thought I was gonna lose that. But either way, that wraps us up. That was three battles. That was the uh the league. That one league at least. Maybe we'll try and go through each league as is. And I get a weapon when I conquer leagues and cups. And the cups go to, uh, let's see, six cups. Um, top right, need so many cups to get to the, the tournament for this arena. And you have to get the cups by clearing the leagues and stuff. So, yeah. All right, I hope you all had an awesome time. I know I did. Um, you guys are some great company. Uh, and I hope you keep great company with you until the next video. So, see ya. Take a moment to think of just Flexibility, love, and trust. Take a moment to think of just Flexibility, love, and trust. <laughs>